this meeting to order. There are no public comments. We're going to move straight to uh, approving the minutes from the last meeting. Rob and Marilyn, uh, you were mentioned several times. I don't know if it came up personally, but um, so take note, but obviously you're not going to vote on the minutes. resident from Hatfield who'd like to make donations for trees is more around expanding our legacy slash memorial tree program to include a carbon offset program mm -hmm. and um, and I think that I also mentioned that I'd love for us to pick up that loose end and that was um, Marilyn of trying to create the structure of this program trying to, to get, go ahead and get it on paper and move, start moving forward with it. And because someone came forward with me, uh, to me with the suggestion of donating for carbon offset, I thought, let's include that. Yeah. yeah. So anyway, if the um, minutes could reflect that there, that was part of the conversation. Broadening the Legacy Tree, pro tree Program to include um, carbon offset. bring it to the service a little bit for folks. So I think we'll try that practice this week. All right, good. So when you hear that there's something that you have been assigned or you volunteered for, make a note of it, because at the end of the meeting, we're gonna go back and review all that. Does that work for everybody? Mm -hmm. Okay, great. Um, so on to the chair report. I, aside from checking in with Todd, and you're not, you did not attend the meeting yesterday because they did not put you on the agenda. Correct. And you wouldn't have been able to go anyway. Correct. Um, um, so I'm, we have nothing on that end. And um, checking with Jen, which you're going you're gonna to report 
um, separately mm -hmm. about how that's going. I had kind of quiet two weeks, <laughs> so I don't think I have anything to report. I'm trying to think. As you know, um, this Rick Harper, where? Oh, sorry. Where do you mean? You know, I haven't heard back from him about because that. Because I probably can do that. I just oh, need to know uh, where it is. I think okay. it'd be nice to have somebody else, you know, Lovely. Have, to have several. Lovely. I couldn't uh, I'll put it in. It's at 1.30. Um, it's on the minutes. Let's see, what did it say? If he has any wiggle room to make it later, that would be great for me, but I, I think it's. Can. I think it's pretty tight because I think it's that's when, when his class meets. Okay. Um, it's, it's in the minutes, I think. Oh, there it is. Day. Yeah, Friday the 28th, February the 28th. It's a Wednesday. Monday. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, that would be great. Anyone else planning on coming to that? I may be able to do too. Okay. So, so I'll check in with Rick Harper. Our location. So, Lily, in the email that he sent that. Was he asking me? No, the, the email on January 3rd, he said, how about around 3 to 4 p.m.? Yeah, there was, something, there was something subsequent to that. So, okay, so that is? Uh, yeah, later, I think I said fine, and then he, uh, um, and then he clarified. I'll see if I can pull it up right now, the, yeah. the um. He, he put into his original email, he has a class from 1.30 to 2.30. Then we do the park campus for Northampton. Would be great. I would All right. Um, you know what? Let me check my email thread. All right. That's I just can't seem to be getting on right now. Okay. All right. Well, we know it's that day. For yeah. sure. Yeah. Okay. And then, Rich, you also had someone reach out to you from Fall River. Do you want to mention that? Oh, yes. Uh, Elizabeth. works uh, for Davy Tree uh, and they have partnered with the city of Fall River uh, to basically do the, uh, the urban replanting plant. Um, I also think she is uh, working with the tree warden but there she is contracted with Davy. Fall River is one of those gateway cities like Holyoke that got a huge flush mm -hmm. of funds to do massive replanting. Yeah, so they, she, she's asked. So she's uh, probably hired. Yeah. She's, she works, still works for Davy though, so Fall River hired Davy in a yeah. sense to manage, similar yeah. to I think what mm -hmm. other communities have, uh, have. DCR actually has employees, Fall River reached out to Davy. So she has asked, uh, she reached out to, to, went to me uh, and asked if I would do a presentation. Um, so they have, a, they have a volunteer, they have a day over there actually, they do a bunch of events uh, for, this, for the city where they actually talk about all the different uh, the tree and the things that they're doing with the city and one of them obviously is a volunteer component. So they have a volunteer group similar to uh, to a Tree Northampton um, and they're looking to have a presentation basically about our operation and our organization and our interaction with volunteers. So I was going to see if Lily was like to go if you can. I mean, it's a long haul to yeah. Fall River. So for a 20 minute presentation, I'm just not sure it's the best use of my time. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, let me, let me read it one more time and I, I'm inclined to pass on this one. Okay, that's fine. I'll, I'll go and do the presentation yeah. and I'll probably take that. Um, sure, the slideshow. The, the slideshow and kind of condense it. Mm -hmm. um, maybe we try to sweep out another 10 minutes from her so we can just have a half an hour to kind of get all overall. Yeah. Here's the whole thing. Yeah. So, um, <laughs> I mean, if it were first yeah. it's during the day. Yeah. No. It's during the daytime, so I just get paid during the day. Well, whatever the job you do. It's fine with me. I'll do a webinar. Huh? I'll do a webinar. Do a webinar. Or be more it's successful. a long, I mean, it's, it's like a hall. It's a hall. Yeah. 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 I mean, they may have to, you know what I mean? I mean, it's just something to think about. Yeah. Might really do a, yeah. Cause sometimes know. there's face, you know, there it's are. not just noise. It's also, you know, it's it's also not being in front of people. Yeah, that's true. Then, yeah. Uh, you can ask, uh, you know, you can run over time. You yeah. can ask, you can ask questions. Yeah. I think it's, uh, I think it's good use. I think it's a good use of my time in the sense because I think it gets our message out there. Mm -hmm. um, 
and it actually speaks to the greater you know mass rewards and mortgage association yeah, that's true. for them i would, would hope that at some point you know we can get our seat at the table and be able to communicate our efforts at a state level mm -hmm. as to what we've done here in a short period of time i think there's no harm in asking her if there's a speaker's fee it's a long way to come i, I can't do this you can't no, we can't. no the city of northampton can but I mean, the city could be compensated for your time. I mean, if you're doing this on city hours, work hours. They could. I will look into it, but I don't think they could. Um, it's a good question. All good questions. <laughs> All right. Well, so that was um, my segue yeah. to you and your, yeah. your um, pre war network. So, just a couple of things. Um, I gave the uh, tree list and planting guidelines that's been sent to the planning department. Uh, hard copies of electronic version, so if it's under review, uh, Carolyn Mish, uh, I hope we'll get back to you before our next commission meeting. Uh, but it was all preliminary review, so it was positive, which was, uh, which was good, which is great. Um, the tree, so I finished our Tree City USA application, and then it's been sent in. Um, it hasn't been approved yet because I was a little late. But I just wanted to kind of run down some of the numbers um, that Terry and I both came up with for this particular year. Um, so the, uh, in order to be a, a Tree City USA, we have to reach an annual budget of at least $2 per capita. And uh, this year is spent on trees. Spent on trees, that's correct. So our community forestry expenditures as a whole were $538,607.08. So that gave us a per capita expenditure of $18.91. Wow. Wow. That's, that's way above average. Yeah. yeah. And uh, a giant portion of that is volunteer time, which I calculated at $49,780.08. Wow. Volunteer hours. And that includes all the volunteer work um, from Tree Northampton and um, the folks at the Village Hill. And it doesn't. It doesn't include tree commission time. It does. Include it tree does. Time, yes. Okay. Yep, that's all included in there. So tree planting and initial care was sixty-nine thousand nine hundred. Tree maintenance was one hundred sixty-one six fifty-three. Tree removals were one hundred ninety thousand one forty-two. Uh, management, which is uh, salaries for Terry, myself, and anyone else that's involved, other than the tree crew, is sixty-seven thousand forty-six dollars. Uh, and I said volunteer time was 49,780.08. So we planted 248 trees. Uh, we pruned anywhere from uh, 150 to 200 trees, which that does not include the tree trains we've done. And we did 80 tree removals. And we really exceeded in everything else. We also are eligible to the growth board um, because of our increased uh, planting. Um, Program that we've had in this past uh, this past this past year. Um, one of the uh, new project organization. We got four points for the uh, projects. The actual project in the community work at Village Hill. Um, we actually got uh, seven other points for the rebreeding of uh, Northampton, which is an increase of our from last year, which we planted 240. We have to have either a significantly improved program or a new program, so that's significantly improved. We planted 112 trees in 2016, and in 2017 we planted 248. And we also received points, um, two points for the publication of the tree list and planting guidelines. Hmm. So I think we're, I think we're rocking along with all the Yeah, wow. So and I think that this year is going to be an important one to put in an application for some money. DCR, such such as to carry out our planting or some such. Yeah, it would be good to think about actually. When were those due again? Sorry, what? when were those due? Those are always due. Um, the letter. The attempt. letter and ten is yeah. September. Oh, October first. And the application has to be by November first. Right. Right. October thirty first. So it should be a month ahead of time. What's the ballpark like money like range? Well, the absolute maximum is thirty thousand, but they rarely give those yeah, out. Yeah. So I think we'd be looking to up to twenty thousand. 
Well, we that's could, what Molly said. could do something like uh, redo tree pits with, right, we could yeah. do an application for a project like that, like open forms or something like that. Yeah, I mean, of, any project that's, you know, with embedded within a larger planting plan is very mm -hmm. attractive. Mm -hmm. So if we demonstrate that it's part of a larger mm -hmm. vision, mm -hmm. the way we're working toward, mm -hmm. um, I think we just make our case. Mm -hmm. Just maybe, in my mind, that's like kind of a, if we could ever figure out how to do a sample plant, or a, you know, like a, let's say we chose the, uh, the main part of Florence, you know, and you could show, you know, over a series of years what those trees look like compared to ones that are planted in tree pits, mm -hmm. you know, it'd be like a, a demonstration project, kind of, you know, it could be a, like larger, larger. You're talking about a mall, uh, along Main Street? Yeah, like there where those trees always die, like from Miss Florence dying area, all those trees are on that way. Because they're, I don't think they're going to rip that up. I'm down here, I mean, we just have to make sure we're doing it where they're going to rip it up. Me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But anyway, yeah. it doesn't have to be there. That was just in my yeah. mind. But yeah. that, that's in my mind of a project that would be get a chunk of money to throw at that and do as many pits as we could and then you know you could even do a little PR video or whatever you know well when, once we get past right what's in front of our headlights right which is getting our order in right. for then then we can you, yeah. you can jump straight to thinking yeah. about that yeah. um by the way rich you you're right and I'm sending a, um, a corrected email to Rick to confirm three o'clock so Janet's three o'clock on the 28th yeah, that's and awesome. I think we should suggest a location because he you know he's gonna look to us so can we just can I just give him a proposed location for where to meet are we doing is this gonna be an outdoor tour what what are we offering here do we know I would say an, an outdoor tour but what are we exactly going to show him where yeah what's you know, do, you, do you want to meet around South Street like is that the sure, our best? we can do South Street we can do in front of Forbes Library um, if you did in front of Forbes Library, then you would have an option of going in for like questions and answers, like it's yeah. cold or something. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? Yeah. Okay. It's raining I'll or something. I'll tell them in front of Forbes Library. Right. Oh yeah, that's perfect. Too. Okay. I mean, maybe we should try to get a room in Forbes. Can okay, email me so. I just think it'll be more, you know, if it's bad weather than. I'll ask him how many students. I'm gonna, I'm gonna loop you in on this, Jen. Okay. Okay. I don't want to hold that us up on that. Sure. Um, we'll see. Oh yeah. Okay. Sure. Anyone else? Tom, you want to go? No, no I want to. You have a question? Um, yeah. Uh, just looking ahead at uh, uh, budget season, I think the numbers you presented were pretty telling in that it seemed like for every dollar of tax dollar money invested in the tree program, mm -hmm. we collectively have been successful leveraging quite a number of other resources, whether it be volunteers, grants, et cetera, and turning that into some sort of visual might be helpful for just uh, public perception of uh, that line item in case mm -hmm. it comes up. It would be good. I want to wait until Molly uh, yeah. gets Yes, we can say the application is accepted and approved and will not for our foundation. We could actually probably incorporate this in some kind of uh, American gas and American press release of some sort uh, on or around the four hour tax the four hour to talk about that. I'm not going to highlight all that. Yeah, it's pretty, it's, pretty, it's pretty impressive. And you can see you know, the steps that we've come in the last three years. And they just, we just keep Increasing and it seems to be sustainable, uh, which is probably the most impressive thing because you know, we really launched something. It's got people legs, and I'm not sure exactly how it works. So, uh, the other thing, too, is that the, um, I've asked for another $10,000 to complete the tree budget uh, for, for FY19, starting in July, so that would be a total of $50,000 we have our disposal for a tree planting, permitting, tree purchases, materials, whatever we see fit. It's also an OOM line, uh, other than ordinary maintenance, which is a capital account. So that means that any monies that are left over, 
in this fiscal year is capital will actually stay in there and then the new monies will be added to it so it will be rolled over so if we have ten thousand left over yes. that money will not go back to the general fund it'll stay in that line item uh, and then it'll just be added to whatever the allocation is and it's 40 or 50. Uh, i don't know what the i don't have a figure in front of what's left because they switch things around but our contract with amherst nursery is exhausted but we do have money supply trees for this coming spring so there's additional issue what, when, was, when did you report to the city council? Uh, around Arbor Day last year. That's what I thought. You might want to think about putting together another like one page or uh, well, infographics or whatever to get the point of that. Was that the same day you got the proclamation? Yeah, it was actually. Um, you know, we could make that as a matter of course, something we do every Arbor Day, is I request to make a presentation to the city, to the council, on what progress we made. Maybe that's um, too frequent, but I could at least submit oh. something. I don't think so. Yeah. That, that visual yeah. data thing, I think, is a really good idea. Do something really effective. Presentation. Okay. Well, I have on um, on the agenda Arbor Day preparations, so I, I'm making a note of that, and let's just make sure we talk about that a little more. All right. Anything else from Tree Tree Warren Report? I'm all set. You're all set. Okay. And um, we'll buzz right past the traffic calming, unless you have any thoughts about going into the meeting. I don't. Just uh, the the chair is now uh, Councillor Nash. Uh, so there's been a change there, um, and I don't know. If, I don't know if Richard, you've heard anything on the staff side. So at least they're waiting to schedule. All right. Uh, the 2018 planting plan. Okay, um, Jen, would you like to take it? Yep. So um, after last meeting. I finished the um, Bridge Street uh, sites and they're into the spreadsheet from Pomeroy to Grant. And then um, thanks, big thanks to Jay and Rob for they did uh, from on the walking on Bridge Road and those are into the spreadsheet too. And then uh, Jay still has a list from Elm Street from the high school to the VA, not including the hospital. Well, I, I looked at the hospital too. Mm -hmm. Oh, good. So, um, and you're going to input those, right? Yeah. And then Rich and I are going to meet to look at the hospital in Con Street on Friday. Great. Right. So I am. Um, I'm looking at the list now, and Jen, I'll be happy to show you how to do it. Yeah, I just, no I was so, I, I messed around a little bit, and I was a little worried. I yeah, didn't want to, yeah. like, psh, Sure, and yeah. I'll also show you how to access re history revision in case you majorly blow up the whole thing. Oh, yeah. You can go back in time and okay. capture what Okay, you're yeah, I was a little, I was a little. Um, but anyway, so I'm trying to get a, a, a rough count of where we are. So everything that's there is uh, a planting location correct uh it should be because i removed the ones that weren't okay on pleasant street mm -hmm. uh except um you know a lot of the ones on pleasant street were needing retro like a sidewalk redo you know you know what i mean yeah yeah, yeah. Okay. so all right so but those are not on no longer on so no they are on they there. are so they on just there. say that you had a column that said comment we no it was kind of like it was uh Setback street trees. Oh, I see. With hardscape removal. Yeah. Right. So okay. I put yeses in there. Oh, okay. I realized that after the fact. Uh -huh. So it's a little messy because there's gaps and I. Okay. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. It's fine. I can, I can clean it up quickly. But I'm just trying to get a really rough number. So all of the Bridge Street ones then are actual sites that have been confirmed. Yeah. We we collectively went to look at Bridge Street up to Pomeroy and then. This weekend, I went and walked from Pomeroy to okay. Grant and back the other side. And there was a couple potential sites for uh, setbacks. I didn't contact the people, but I put those in there too. Okay. And then Bridge Road is on here? Not? Yes. Bridge, Bridge it's all the way at the bottom because I 
again, I didn't know how to fit okay. it in between. You know, okay. So, I mean, we're getting close. Operating we're getting close to 250. Mm -hmm. So we'll probably narrow it down to 200. And then, um, what? Uh, but our goal was what? 150? I'm trying to remember how we, how we uh, parse this out. Is it in here? I have it on a sheet of paper. It's in your minutes. It's, is it in these minutes? 150. Yeah, 150. And then 25 for Arbor Day. Okay, all 25 right. 25 for New So Day. good. I like that we have too many as opposed to too few. Yep. Five downtown. Okay, all right. So I've got a bunch that I need to put in. You need to send me the, oh, yeah. the link to, I have a new um, Google to this email. To this document? Yeah. Okay. All right. I see the new Gmail. Okay. Does everyone does everyone know the document that we're looking at? Did you, you, what do you mean? This is the one I, I might read. Oh, the list, all the sites. Yes. Yeah, yeah. It's a spreadsheet. And Marilyn, you yeah. obviously have it. Do you have access to it? I have access to the sheet where there's the proposed planting sites, but yeah. I don't remember seeing those. Yeah. Maybe they weren't entered. Right. Look. It might be another page to it. I yeah. think I, think I, I entered them last late. Yesterday afternoon. Oh yeah, that's why I don't. Actually, know. now Rob, you don't you don't have access to this. I don't have that. No. I, I'm going to put you on. So I have a new account. I'll give you that. Okay. Oh, yeah, maybe so, you should rename. What's it called? I'm going to rename it. Yeah, so it was confusing name. to me. I couldn't yeah, find Todd, it. Todd, do you want to see this? Sure. Uh, for a Gmail. Okay. Todd. Todd for Gmail. And then Jay, you want to give me a new address? Gerard J. Full name. 15. At Gmail? Yeah. Okay. So Gerard, J A Y 1 5 at gmail.com. Right. Okay. So we all have your email, which is old, and that's not the one. I oh, still have that one. Yeah. This works better with this. Okay. Yeah. So what would we like to call this? 2018 plan? I can do that. It, I'll call it that for now, but just so you know, it's got tabs at the bottom yeah. that yeah. Ha are going to have further years out. But yeah. let's just call it 2018. Or just planting, or planting sites. Planting sites. Yeah. Planting. It's not really the plan, it's the planting right. sites. Okay. It's the options for the sites. All right. I'm not even sure I shared it with you, Rich. No, you didn't. <laughs> Okay. Top Terry, I'm going to share with you too, just because transparency here. Uh, maybe Terry, at some point, like print it out, bring it to the meeting, and have, attach it to the minutes, so it, everything is in the you know public eye. I was fairly conservative on Bridge Street because there's a lot of signage and it's going like around a curve, so. I kind of made some comments about that to like clump, like we're doing small trees to put them together, kind of like pull them, stay away from those crosswalks of the sign for like visibility purposes. And I've got questions for Rich about the side of like North Main where there's no sidewalk. What, how much do you see on property there? Quite a bit. But it like sort of depends where. So let's get clear on what our next steps are and what it, what our deadlines are. Help me help me understand. Maybe we reach. Let's go to our deadline and work backwards. That's that's the way my brain always likes to work. So do we have a hard and fast deadline from you, Rich? Or well, I have. So Rob has been working uh, on a uh, tree availability list. Um, yeah, it's uh, 190 trees, Rob. Yeah, 190 trees seem to be reasonable. I'm sorry, 190 trees from where? From uh, Amherst Nursery. Yeah. And uh, once it, I'm not sure whether it should fall, but they're, they're not open. They're not right. by. So, you know, so hopefully they'll have some trees too. Mm -hmm. So, in, rea in reality, oh, in reality, we should have. So what I have to do is I have to take, we decide to go with the 190 trees or some assortment of those 190 trees that are available that are actually, you know, within this uh, tree list and planning guideline I should have uh, an RF, uh, RFQ to John and other 
three other two other vendors by really March first. March fifteenth at the latest, but March first would be good. Is that deadline have to do with the city's fiscal? No, it just has to do with the fact that we want to be first in line. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. that's really what it amounts to. It's totally agree on really where it gets the warm. Well, and we may need to be planting so much earlier this year. I mean, all bets are off, but. Well, I don't think it's this weather time to last in this No, but my concern is less about this end of things than late April could be blazing hot, or yeah. May could be crazy hot, Good. and it's just a bad time to plant a tree. So, um, if you put in an order by March 1st, does that mean that we can go ahead and get the trees soon, very soon thereafter? No, that we wouldn't, uh, depending upon what the ground's like. <coughs> you know, if the ground trees go in, you probably won't get it until April. Yeah. But at least you'll have the leader mark that we tag. Okay. And then, you know, if someone else wants to come and purchase mass quantities of certain species, we won't be running around trying to find that. So that's kind of what I like to do. I like to pull my feelers out there. I have to do an RFQ because we're able to actually purchase up to $49,000 uh, with an RFQ, which is nice. It makes life easier, so I don't have to fund through. It's not to have a contract, but it's a little different. It's not, not a small one. Okay. So you tag them in the field, they have to dig them. Yeah, Rob, I believe, is tagged on 50. Or 50 of them, but he has a list that he's generated based on what John has available that is ready to go. Uh, that are, uh, you know, there's some nice trees in there, and it would be a shame not to not to try to take that. Yeah, and, and match them with what we match them with what we have here, okay. and then fill in the holes and the blanks afterwards. You know, that still leaves us. Let's say we get 150 of them. That still leaves us, you know, 100 trees we have to pick up somewhere along the way. All right, so. Um, it's going to be important that you look at this list pretty soon yep. and see um, what yeah, if there are any holes. It sounds like the field work is pretty much done. Yep. You just have to be Friday, mm -hmm. and right? Mm -hmm. All the data. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is great. Thank you all for working so hard and mm -hmm. making this deadline. Um, all right, so wrapping up this subject. Anything else about 2018 planting plan? Oh, I just have a positive comment. I, I wore, while I was doing it, I wore one of those uh, tree, uh, Northampton tree volunteer things. I got stopped like by three different people that were like really interested, wonder what was going on. They, you know, I, they asked me questions. It was like this great public engagement. It was, it, it was great. It was really great. Yeah, so I just wanted to pass it on. Um, Rob, I wanted to um, loop you in. We had a conversation last week. This is related to the planting plan. Um, we are, so you know, there are like five as aspects of this planting plan, one of which is a neighborhood planting. And we decided that this year we were going to pilot, we were going to pre choose the neighborhood, and it was going to be the Orchard Elizabeth neighborhood. And um, so, I don't know if Sue is coordinating with you, you about locating sites there, but I wanted to give the potentially promising news that we might not have to do, if, if you find, if you locate setback planting sites in that neighborhood, which frankly I think they mostly need to be, especially on Orchard Street, um, there's, a, there's a little pot of money that I have from when I used to live on Orchard Street that if I give directly to Tree Northampton, we can work around this whole contract. Piece. There is someone on the street for you, Suzanne. Um, Shoshana. Shoshana, yes. Yeah. I was working with her, and she didn't get back. She was going to look at all those sites, so maybe she will. Um, I would hold her hand in the morning. Yeah. Yeah. She's Shoshana. a very busy person. Yes. Great she, person, but very busy. She was going to go door to door and try and develop on setback. Yeah. Yeah. And that was last summer, and then for this year, and then. Well, and then the other piece, Rich, is, is right on the other side of the cemetery fence. Yep. Maybe determining how many trees we could put there because that money could be used. In fact, I would many you want? most likely. Was that many you want? Okay. <laughs> All right, how many can physically be seen? I don't know. We have, we have, to, we have to just kind of measure these up. Yeah, you could probably right. put a good 
If we have time, we could drive by there Friday. Yeah, we can yeah, we'll go there Friday. Okay, yeah. yeah, that'd be terrific because frankly, that's where I'd most like to see those trees grow. First of all, because they have a better chance of survival. Second of all, because most of that money was donated by Sluzniaks. Mm -hmm. And it just feels right. Mm -hmm. So, um, okay, so you guys are on that? Mm -hmm. And you're on identifying any other neighborhood plantings yeah. there? Uh, the best well, yeah, I mean, there are, you're just talking about off between North Street and the cemetery, basically, or North, off of North Street, together some great sites that actually I think the trees are identified for, I'm not sure. Okay, you mean on the date? No, street? no, just that, that, that um, like Linden Street, plus like Linden. Yeah. Oh, you're talking about the other side of the cemetery? Linden. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, the, there's some sites that we might have the right tree. Okay, all right, well. You know, it's broadening it's broadening the geographic scope a little bit, which I don't have a huge objection to, except for that part of this is supposed to be community building. So, you know, if you feel that I remember living in there, there was a little bit of a divide from on the cemetery, you know, the cemetery one side and the other. It wasn't like uh, the other side of the train tracks or that kind of thing, but it was just a geographical divide. Really? So, um, right. you know, so in terms of like, if there's going to be some kind of culminating, if we have a potluck or something, it's a, it's a little a broader reach. But if you're really stretched... Well, it's just a little bit sort of like underwater, where it's... On both sides? No, no. no. We started planting, not on underwire. And right, but the, 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 the wire switch. So, I mean, on Elizabeth Street, there, there's room for trees to be planted because we get up. A lot of tree removals actually on those right. Street. Mm -hmm. And yeah. that's where there's no on the side with no sidewalk. That's correct. Right. Which we all know basically up to the fence. Right. So we all so it's a wide layout, right? Mm -hmm. So that's something that, that that I have an approach in which is kind of little of, which is planting trees where there's no delineation from sidewalk right down. Mass Society done that. So yeah. Mass Society? Yeah. yeah. It's a it's a, it's something that involves rich because you, you have to they think it's their yard. Yeah, you basically have to go out and you have to actually delineate and have to determine where the pins are and then I have yeah. to be it's a, it's a thing. It's, so it's a you thing. You put a stake out there, you get a phone call, why you put a stake in my front yard? Right. Well, it's a touch of property. So, so that's something that could be done all over the near, all over yeah. the city. We could get into that. So far, I, I've never, uh, I, I've shot away from it just because I don't want people pulling the pins out and getting angry. <laughs> I mean, I think the whole purpose of us choosing a pilot neighborhood was kind of to go for low-hanging fruit. So yeah. if this sounds super, super complicated, then maybe we should think of another neighborhood. I mean, I certainly want, would love to do the Bridge Street Cemetery planting on the other side of the fence regardless. There's money for it. It's a great location. You don't have to ask anyone's permission. Um, but. Well, the Linden Street is just, I've already, we've already started to put about six trees, you know, we can finish the whole street, but it's a small right? you know, But would it, make, would it make sense, we can plant city trees in the, in the, um, cemetery? cemetery. City. Anytime? Yeah, right. no, I don't mean any time, but we could use, seems like that pot of money would be better used for setback plantings in yeah because uh, then we don't have to it, it certainly navigates the problem you know yeah. so so I think okay. we certainly so could plant one do you soon. need support reaching out to Shoshana oh no no I'm happy you're okay to with that okay because she's an old neighbor I know her yeah yeah well. no she was very enthusiastic okay she, all right she's totally on it what you know is she busy you know, yeah yeah or whatever no I, I'm I would that would what be what I would do I a little Right. file and I go back to people and say how do you do that's that's how it works I mean I, it's a neighborhood I, I ring every doorbell on the street and I'm not going to be able to crack the net yeah mm -hmm. yeah and even then I mean it's a lot of um, landlords you know it's it's exactly. rental properties on that street landlords so are people who don't want trees yeah there's like all sorts of stuff I don't remember well <laughs> <laughs> that's why there's a big pot of money sitting <laughs> I did the best I could at the time, but it was hard to get people at the time convinced because the trees were good. Don't we have the free tree signs? I mean, we could just put a few of them on Orchard Street. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? As a pre- Yeah. And yeah. 
That's a good idea. Yeah. yeah. For, for advertising purposes. Yeah. That would be great. At the very least, in front of Shoshana's house. And then, yes. Um, okay. Yeah. But these yeah. are slightly different trees because these are three more. Right. They're going to come from you. Not the same. Yes. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Well, back one, the whatever they're the same the trees. It's, yeah, but it's just a different source of funding. Well, no, because the rules are different. Correct. They're not the same trees. Right. And, I mean, I'm clarifying the question. Oh, you? I see. Um, I think so. You know, yes, it's a deep the, thing. the nonprofit is making a donation right. to the homeowners. Right. That's what I think. I, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not, I'm not making a rule. There's be a little logistics difference. Yeah. In terms of getting, you mean in terms of getting the trees, the paperwork. Yeah. In other words, when people sign up for these trees, they're just getting them from a nonprofit. Mm -hmm. It's a gift from a nonprofit. It's not a city. If it came from the city, yeah. then there's this paperwork. Okay. okay. All right. So well. Most likely without the logistics of the city. Um. Uh, well. That's a question. Uh, we don't need. We don't have to. I mean, that's, we don't need to have that help. And we used to do it without it. Yeah. Uh, you know, they're just delivered, purchased and delivered separate. The, the city tree. Yeah. Yeah. Well, the delivery was an issue. I could. Yeah. Go get them. Supplying city attorneys. Uh, I think. <laughs> I will try. So we could do that. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. yes, it's a good point, Todd. Though that we should keep them in a separate order. Okay. Uh, except we're put them on the same trailer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so in terms of timeline, we're still sh so we're shooting for a fairly for that order as well to be fairly soon, right? I mean the next order. The next. Well, I think I'm. A, I'd like to sit down with you next week and go over. Yeah. After I meet with the judge. Okay. Go over this. This. I'll go over the spreadsheet with you to go over what you sent me so we can actually yeah. make sure that. Um, what I'm asking for is actually what's available. Yeah. Um, and then I'll send her a few to see what happens. I think that will be March 1st. March 1st. Next week. Yeah. Yeah. So next week, uh, after, after three or I'll move we'll, we'll, I'll send you an email. Three Yeah. It won't be Tuesday. Okay. Maybe Monday. Okay. Yeah. 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 Yeah. Okay. 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 Oh, pretty, pretty, yeah. yeah. All right, I'm going to move us along to Arbor Day preparations. Is there someone in the room who would like to take on the, the role of being overall coordinator of Arbor Day preparations? <laughs> should, <laughs> we first, should we first ask what the, should we first decide what those are going to yeah, be? And then, then, yes. Okay, all right. So I'm opening it up. Ideas for Arbor Day. Replanting oh. Ryan Road. What are we going to do? The what hospital? About, do you yeah. mean the, the school trees that got. Okay, uh, are they on the list? Uh, so those trees need to go on the list. Right. What about Holy Dickinson? Yeah, Arbor Day, 25 trees targeted. Holy Dickinson, Jackson Street. Right. So. What? Yeah. Ryan Road School, you're talking about. Yeah. What were they bare roots there? originally? So they were either in elms front of the school or um, three, I think, and they died. It was a bare root stock that we had. Oh, that well. okay. okay, so we agree that we are replacing any dead trees that we planted last year, Arbor Day. Did any die at Jackson Street? No. Okay, so it's just three trees at Ryan Road. We, we didn't plant trees at those places last year. They were planted the year before. Two, Two years, years ago? Okay. Yeah, last year we planted the locusts in front of. Uh, yeah, antique shop on Bridge Street. Last year was on the marches. And then also we did, um, yeah. we did it in front of the, the antique mark. The yep. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Um, will you, will someone make sure that we get the three trees for Ryan Road onto the tree list? Okay. Okay, so that's one. Yep. Two is Holy uh, Dickinson um, Hospital. Jay, do you have a count please. there? Two, nine, 
So you got that big clump of juniper. You said they might do something with that? No, don't count on that for this year. Definitely not. No, he was very clear that that's a longer term project. It's really just, Jay, the area between the stoplight and Smith voc Vocational School. Yes. But you, Entrance and Smith. But you know where the pipe pad is going to be, though. Yeah, I have a plan and bring it with me, though. I have a conceptual. But I, don't have, there's no, I don't have the design. The actual design is conceptual, conceptual plan. Oh, is the bike pack going at cool yeah, down? Without knowing where that was, I yes. came up with about 10 trees. Okay. Yeah, really, and I think I counted like 15. But that was just kind of. That was totally that was just back of the envelope. Yeah, kind of. going just kind of with our feet. And yeah. Kind of what I did with extra toes and fingers. Okay. <laughs> and did you see any other street trees that could go in in that general area? It's right at the entrance. It kind of widens out on both sides. Yeah. There's, there's room for two or three trees, probably on each side. That was part of our count. Yeah. So we're actually at a very similar count, which was about 15 trees. Yeah. So we're not going to be able to plant there until we get them a plant. Yeah. Um, and Arbor Day is coming up. So um, the ball is in our court to provide them with uh, a plan with I, that I think should have species or at least something in the realm. And the main request that he had was no trees that lose their leaves late, like pin oaks or something. No. Or beaches. Or or beach. uh, and he wanted larger shade trees that they can, he wants to be able to trim them on. Mm -hmm. That's nice. Is Tree Northampton going to oversee the handing out of the whips again? So yes, we'll get to that. Okay. But before we we leave this, Cooley Dickinson, I'm just, um, I'm aware now, wow, it's like suddenly it's almost April, March. <laughs> <laughs> and then April is Arbor Day. And, yeah. and we actually want to plant, I mean, we're, our goal is to plant 25 trees on Arbor Day. I, if we don't hit 25, I, I you know, I personally think that's a lot. That's a lot. That's a lot. That's a lot. I'll tell you, that's, that's a lot of logistics. That's a lot of logistics to plant one. Well, it would, remember, we never talk about one day. We're, about Arbor the, Day is like Arbor, between Earth Day and Arbor Day. Arbor Week? Arbor Week, yeah. So, Cooley Dickinson, are these on their property or? Um, we, have we have, we're working on a range. Working on we met with the grounds manager, but he'd like to see a plan. Well, that's great. So, it's right. where those, they had all kinds of big spruces. And they, most of them, except like one, got cut. Yeah. Because they yeah. never watered. What's that? Because they never watered them before. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Cotton tree when I worked there. Oh, okay. <coughs> 40 foot trees. Wow. And then we offered them a maintenance plan and they didn't take it. Wow. Can't plant a 40 foot tree. You planted 40 foot trees? Yeah. Wow. Water? Six of them. Wow. Um, so, uh, Rich, should I should I give you a friendly nudge about getting um, a plan over to John Lombardi? No, no I think once John and I kind of go over there and go over the logistics, and I got to make sure that we're planting them at least within the public on the public right away. Plant them on the public right away. We don't have to. Do we own a lot of public right away in that big? No, I don't think so. It's 65. I think it's 65 and a half feet wide. So I have to still, uh, the, the plan that Cooley Dickinson has that they recorded is not really a very good plan in the sense that it's recorded the registry of deeds and it doesn't show stone boundaries. So I've got to do a little research, but I think the plan that goes onto the sidewalk should be our. We're never going to get 10 trees. That wasn't our, yeah. no, the they idea was to plant. Oh. And they're going to be on Cooley Dick's property. Yes. So then they're going to have to have a setback. Then. From what I understand, that gentleman there didn't seem like he was interested in that. No, what he said is that he would like a plan and that he would bring it to some of the powers at Cooley Dick and they would consider paying for the trees themselves if they didn't want to assume that. Uh, yes. Okay. I guess that part of the conversation. All right, yep, I'm planting the plan is fine. Couldn't sound like that's going to happen before Harbor Day. It's sounding really tight. It's sounding really tight. So, um, Let's make let's make every effort, and then I'm feeling like we might need a backup plan for for Arbor Day. Um, 
a Jackson Street, I still, I, I still need to reach out for a second time, but there again. Quiet, it's right? been quiet and we're getting into March. So did the trees at Bridge Street make it? Bridge Street School make it? Uh, I think oh, one. Oh, thank you. Only one. Only one. Only one made it. <laughs> I was just slowly adapting to the audience. Thanks, Molly. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, wow, I gotta get some new glasses. <laughs> at Jackson Street, there's a we have a way of planting the works. You know, I, I, you mean um, that Alicia has made con connections there? Well, there, there's some parents there that have a tr sort of a tree group, and they go to the principal and ask for trees, and says okay, and then they go and talk to us and have the grounds for the school. Yeah. And I said, oh, we planted five trees, yeah. left all on that property, and he's open to them continuing. So the tricky thing is that we were going to try to press to have trees planted in a place where the grounds manager is not thrilled about, which is those big those circles, those roundabouts. Oh yeah, no, that didn't work out. I, mean, <laughs> but I, I spoke to him and I met him there. You did? Yes, I tried that. And he was pretty intransigent? Yeah, he, yeah, yes. We were pretty sure we were going to have a tree and he was pretty sure we weren't. So, wow, so we just amazing. put him some more, you know, we just put him some more. Yeah. Yeah. And we had a bunch, there's a bunch of, there are sites there that he didn't, okay, but he said come back and he would talk about it. Okay. But we did put five ginkgo trees and then um, we want to put um, Moon Sky for Chris, uh, uh, um, Portrait, Portrait Environmental Design. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He has a kid there. All right, so um, wondering if we should try one more time, Rich, to reach out to Gwen Agnum. It'd be worthwhile. I think it would be really nice if some trees were planted in that circle. I don't see why they're not. Other than the custodians don't want to clean them out of the front hall or the floor in there. Oh, what? So we keep. He, he, he did mention the front hallway in the usual unit, but he, he said that the buses are all there and it's going to cut down on their ability to watch all of them. He had a lot of She probably might not want to fight that fight. We'll see, but I, th I still think it's worth trying to reach her um, because she is the principal. Yep. All right, I, I'll make that a priority. She, she sent us to him, that's how we got to What if we get a tree that's not a deciduous tree that we don't have to worry about the beautiful inside? But then it'd be the visual of not being able to put it the, I said we could put it way up, but yeah, right, put it exactly. way up. Yeah, yeah. Right. Then there's something so about you, some. You've already kind of, been through this. I've been through it. I've been through it. Yeah. And, and in detail, I met him there. You know, I had the engineer with me, the Chris, and the engineer who knows about infrastructure. And he was saying, the guy was saying something about in the ground, he's got like some kind of pipes to conduct the water. Mm -hmm. There's a big water up in the back there, and he's afraid of that too, and the clean house. You know, there were. He had, a, enough, he had enough reasons for it. Chris was afraid or this no, no, no. manager? Do you know what his name is? Uh, uh, no, but he, he does the whole of Northampton, so it's not that school. You should know him. Yeah, I think it was his name. I can't remember. I can see his face and everything. Yeah. No, I forgot. All right, all right. So I'll, we'll give it one more college try. Um, so back to Arbor Day. So we have uh, a, a little bit of a ragtag list here going. <laughs> um, we have now the tree widths. And to Marilyn's question about whether the tree Northampton, the tree Northampton be interested in organizing the tree width distribution this year? Oh, tree width, I'm sure we want to participate. You know, um, distribution, absolutely. Okay, Do you, would, would you like to organize volunteers? Yeah, I'd say whatever we did last year was probably do this. And I'm not exactly, I think there was a division. I think DPW did a whole bunch. Yeah, we did some, we kind of worked together. Yeah, working, I think working with DPW. Um, uh, who, who bagged all of you guys did? We did. Yeah, they bagged them. We, I think Tree Northampton, I wasn't there, I think. And, uh, but we came and had at least one or two people at the table the whole time. Right? Yeah. All right. Would you would you be willing to communicate to Sue that um, we would 
definitely like to take them up on their offer to um, coordinate the volunteers for that again. Yeah, what was it? So it's always Friday. We all know the day. Yeah. 27th, 28th. It's the 27th of? Friday, yeah. Of March. April. Uh, April. April, oh, okay. Friday, April 27th, and the hours we usually do, usually Friday and Saturday? We do two days, right? Two yeah. days, Friday. Yeah. Eight to four, eight to noon. Eight, eight, to, eight, to, eight to three. Eight to three, okay. Uh, Friday and eight to noon, Saturday. Does anyone want to volunteer for a shift? Can you show a quick show of hands? Anyone who wants to volunteer for a shift? I would totally volunteer, but last year the Tree Northampton, uh, they, they filled yeah. it up. And, yeah, yeah. I, 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 and it's kind of good because some of the people in Tree Northampton are, or who want to be active are older yeah. and they can't really yeah, yeah, have trees. I mean, you can count on Tree Northampton having a minimum one, usually two people there to hold. Mm -hmm. If it works coordinating with the BPW, we're not have to meet. Is there anything educational we'd like to do for Arbor Day? We usually have an educational component. Oh, Marilyn, do you want to announce the great program that um, Kestrel is sponsoring? Oh, Bill Lamar? Yeah. Yeah, next Wednesday, the 28th of February, there's a free talk by Bill Lamar. He's a professor emeritus from Tufts University. Um, he is a chemist by training from MIT and his specialty is understanding the science of climate change and he's also a co-director of the environmental school at, at Tufts, uh, the Fletcher School. So he really understands science and policy and he was among the scientists who received the 2007 Nobel Peace Prize, uh, the IPCC. Anyway, he's going to be uh, talking how forests will define the future of our climate mm -hmm. at Wright Hall one time. Uh, Auditorium. What's the date for that? The 28th. Of Next Wednesday at 7 o'clock. Oh, March. I Wednesday sent an email, but I'll, I'll send yeah, it over. Yeah. Yeah. Rob signed up. Yeah. Yep. Thank and you. Really I just look at my calendar, make sure I put it in. It's uh, 27. The capacity is at 250. It's filling up, so we'll get there early. Mm -hmm. Even though it's free. February that high pitch beeping? I don't know. February 28th, Wednesday. All right, but back to the issue of something educational around Arbor Day. What about, this is fresh off the press, is there something we can do to help promote this, mm -hmm. share it? It's not approved yet, right? No, it's been approved by the mayor. It's just got to go through the process with the planning. What about having an event for landscapers? An event for what? Landscapers. Go on. Landscapers. Describe what you're thinking. Okay. Well, for three years I worked for Northeast Organic Farming Association launching their organic land care program. And we did a training course and outreach programs for landscapers and gardeners to teach them how to um, do things according to organic standards that um, were created based on the standards for organic agriculture. So I, I have some access to the people who are organizing that program still. So maybe we could pull together <coughs> some landscapers in Western Mass or the Pioneer Valley. Um, maybe a half day informational program talking about the Tree Commission, talking about climate change, presenting this. I don't know, it might be a way to Join forces. And well, the half day program is pretty ambitious mm -hmm. for this being only two months away. Yeah. Um, especially with an all volunteer board. So, unless we had someone who was going to majorly, majorly step up as the coordinator for that, I don't know how it's going to be done. Does anybody have a sense about how many landscape companies there are in the pioneer? This seems like a lot. A lot. Yeah. I don't yeah. have any idea it was a lot. Yeah. My only other question is like most like educational events they have in the winter. Uh, yeah, yeah, they're, they're, yeah, right. they're going to be like that's like it's high prime. Yeah. yeah, 
I think it's going to be a hard time getting people to getting them to come. Yeah. You know? mm -hmm. I mean, it's a good idea. So. Well, what about doing a mailing? Um, can we use some of our money in the budget to mail these to companies? That could be an Arbor Day project. Happy Arbor Day. Yeah. As your season's getting going, make sure that you have this in hand and take it into the field with you. Mm -hmm. I could help coordinate that. Get a list of the companies, could. draft the letter. It would be actually probably, I think the thing with that would be good if that gets approved by the planning board, it would be good to actually mail those out to a more assembly project to uh, local landscape design firms. So they actually have this on their shelf or electronically so they can utilize them. I don't necessarily think uh, landscapers would use the back half of the book, um, proper planting techniques. They wouldn't necessarily, your average landscaper, unless they're actually picking the stock, you know, if they're following the designs designed by a landscape designer, they're not picking the stock. Just um, it's yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So uh, you have to target the design aspect of it first, I think. But I mean, that doesn't preclude us from communicating with proper planting techniques because I think that's really, that's really, I mean, I don't know, just working the village show with those folks and doing yeah. the whole project really kind of. Yeah. How about, how, you know, we have this whole stack of a thousand um, door hangers on proper, on not avoiding volcano mulching. Yeah. And I'm wondering if we want to just pop one of those in the mail to every, every company that we know plants trees. I mean, even that, and maybe a one pager on Mass General Law 87. You know, we've been talking about doing that for a long time. Yeah. Oh, so it'd be like a, um, just basically an outreach using the educational tools. Yeah, targeting professionals. Yeah, so I sent you a link to the people who are doing a lot of the work on King Street. They come out of committee. No? So I mean, it's just like wow. so. I'm not surprised. It's like industrial. Everything bad comes out of Connecticut. No, no it's just <laughs> it's, it's like industrial. Hey, it's like it it makes a lot. Oh, oh. 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 like anything comes out of Connecticut. Landscape services, landscape services, or something, and they come up and just do what they do. Yeah. So reaching because it's large, it's like it's large, large scale. Yeah, they come up and do and do the whole all of Leah. Yeah. yeah, they have a joint contract. What about they, sending these to municipalities? Uh, well, I, I would another way to do it is give a staff to, to Molly, and whenever she goes on, mm -hmm. she can. She it's can just Western Mass; they can do it on their own. Yeah, I do feel like we don't need to be subsidizing the eastern part of the state. We're still paying for their big dig. <laughs> I'm sorry, no, I'm such a regionalist today. Right. <laughs> um, all right, so we have a few uh, ideas batting around. I don't see any harm, and at least we can know we did it in sending some volcano mulching, because that seems to be one of the most egregious, right. you know, acts of, right. of destruction. You know, destruction of trees, um, and we see it everywhere, right. to all the major landscape companies. I guess just go through the Google them or something, or let's say the phone book, but that yeah. doesn't exist There's anymore. No. Um, all right, does, that, does someone want to There's be no. part of that project? Yeah, I'll, I'll work with I'll work on So, um, mailing door hangers and also something about Mass General Law 87. A little, yeah. You know. You've been warned. No, what you can do is you can <laughs> actually take DCRs. DCR has a nice publication that's on cardstock. You can take that and mail that with the volcano mulch. Okay. And those are free. You can just download those from their website. Uh, do you know the name of the publication? I'll have to find it. I think I have a copy of it. All right, and Rich, you still have a pile of volcano mulch? Oh, yeah. That's yeah. Thousand of them. Yeah. <laughs> so. yeah. I'd love to see those get out. Well, the thing yeah. is, is that you're going to have to have some kind of a letter that's going to have to go with it. To yeah, we have to draft the letter. Materials. Mm -hmm. And then you have to let's get a tool from the mayor's from office mail. and mail it. And then we will mail it, uh, bulk mail it with uh, city, city envelope. Yeah. And whatever it's done has to be on city letter. Right? Is that something that you would be printing? Yes. We drafted it. Yes. So I'd have to get his approval to send it. Mm -hmm. 
All right, so you might, it might be a tighter uh, production schedule than you anticipate. Well, we could get a letter drafted within the next week. Okay, all right, good. Well, I don't want to speak. <laughs> <laughs> <Can> we? <laughs> Or you could draft it and she could look at it. Yeah. Yeah. We can do that. Good. Well, I like that idea. I think it's a targeted education is, is a is a great way to go. Any any other ideas for education or we want to stop there? We had batted around something about the Emerald Ash Borer, but I don't know where that's where that's going. Jay? We're still trying to coordinate people to do that. We need a site too. I don't know what availability there's going to be for city sites. For to, to have the people talk at the mouth and just Can you remind us of what your vision is here, Jay? Uh, have uh, Tani from UMass come over and come out and just come And uh, there's another group that. Uh, does treatment for the for the insect that uses something other than the metacopra that's much safer. They'd be willing to come and present, you know, their side of it. Just kind of an informational thing for people to see what their options are if they wanted to use. Okay. I have a question. Is this going to be on our uh, website for downloading? Yeah. yeah. Um, working on it with Karen. In the letter, we could also reference it for the website. Yeah. We should also put it on Tree Northampton's website because your URL is so much easier than the city's. So, you mean take an electronic version of that? Yeah. Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah. And as long as it, we're, we're happy, if you, us, we're happy to have anyone take it, right? There's no. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, it's just that if it's if it's a simple URL, that's just easier yeah. for people to navigate. Oh yeah, because it's hard to navigate to our, our page. Yeah, we can actually we can uh, load it on the site. Okay, great. All right, anything else regard um, Arbor Day? Did you want to talk about the infographic slash report to the city council? Sure. Sure. Do, do we have a digital copy of that? Like the extension of of that? Yeah, I have digital yeah, copy. Sure. I'll send it to her. Thanks. Sure. Um, the only thing is that I noticed actually the other day I was actually looking for something in here. I noticed the table of contents, the references. So in front of this where we have the large, medium, and small trees, um, the pages, some of the pages numbers are off. Oh, no. Oh, no. You know, so, so horse chestnut yep. is supposed to be actually listed on page 12. That's a medium tree. And it's actually listed on page 14. Actually, it starts on 13, but it goes to 14. So you may have to repair these three pages. I'm going to talk to the show and see if we can do a little uh, quick change. And actually, we have to take these sheets out and then put in the new ones. Uh is that can you do that is that hard to do do you have like a little thing yeah no we have, we have a machine at work oh, just takes one part okay cool. i'm pretty proficient at that <laughs> okay um i'm realizing that I'm, i've allowed us to get a little bit behind schedule here so i um i'm gonna move us along um and the presentation of the council i'm gonna bump, bump that to the next time we meet. okay um molly yes just in prep for that, mm -hmm. could we ask Alicia if she has the ability to do like an in infographic? Like a and I can show you an example of what I mean. But it's, it's a graphic intense angle. Yeah. Sure, that would be good. Yeah. All right, Molly. Okay, this is a draft of the introduction. I was tasked with um, making a form for neighborhood groups to fill out who want to do it, tree planting in their neighborhood. Um, and this is sort of the, this is draft of the introduction that would go either on a web page or on a sheet. Um, so this is, I wanted to just go over this first and then say what I thought would go on the forum and get your feedback from that. So some of the things on here I'm not sure 
if they're accurate or not. But I just kind of put it together. So I don't know if you want to do this kind of ending here, or people could read over it and. I think it's short enough that we can read it in the okay. next one minute. Mm -hmm. Okay. says we would like to encourage like after the tree planting or whatever, whatever the words would be we'd like to we would like to encourage a community pot, celebration potluck celebration and then you could have somewhere on the form um, if, if you know an option to check we would like to do a community potluck this is the person who would be the point person. Mm. But why do we need to be involved in that? Um, like I this. think. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're planning to do it. Yeah, I mean, here's where I'd say your next. The next step here is to actually create an application. You know, name, right. da da da. Yeah, I've got and, um, ideas about that. Yeah, and like we definitely want a. This is the person who's going to be the point person for the entire project. Right. I got drafted an application. Oh, you didn't? I was trying to look for anything about this neighborhood tree planting, and I couldn't find it anyway. All right, so I can work with you on this. All right, but I have, um, all right, so the idea of the potluck, we're suggesting that they do that, or? I think we query whether that's something that they would be interested in, and if it, I, um, I, I don't know that I'd make it a yes or no, like I would select for that, but I would, yeah, like Jen said, I would use language that encourages it. But let me think about it, because yeah. I, I, I do think that it is kind of a, in a, a neat um, aspect to this whole project. If we're actually culminating, if we're, if we're really encouraging a community to culminate in some sort of... Maybe we could say it in a sense of just, it just feels a little overreaching for a city to be saying, we really think you should but, you know, it could be North Hampton that. Yeah, I would. I would um, want to. Hey, put David. It in such a way, like. Um, it's one of your most festive. It for you really is. <laughs> <laughs> you thought maybe you're retiring or something. You saw, oh, like it's somebody else. <laughs> yeah, I don't forgot what it was. Yeah, there's a bunch of stuff happening. So anyway, carry on. Okay. Thank you. Um, no, what was I just saying? Um, oh, about the potluck. Small um, change in, in previous plantings. Uh, the city has, doesn't want people to prune trees. Okay. As long as I mean, if it's yeah. on their property, mm -hmm. they still don't want. They don't want it. They don't want it. They don't. Want it. They don't want it. Yeah, that's a good point. Water. Yeah. So I just instead of take care of, I can put water. Yeah. Um. Is the idea is on the application or something that we're gonna. Uh, look favorably on the application to have some sort of community bonding event? I think it's one of the things we're looking at. We could just say something less um, 
Firm. We could just say, um, <laughs> yeah, let's not, we don't you get might, into the editing. You right might here. like to, you know, right. consider a potluck or something like that, but I don't think we should really push it. Can we so, just provide uh, pizza? Say, anyway, provide it's probably, it. we shouldn't get bogged yeah. on that. I yeah, looked at three programs, KC Trees in D.C., Tree Tenders in Philly, and then the Amherst, um, the Ants. So oh, th there, there are some models that we can mimic. Okay. Well, yeah. Well, then maybe I should look at those before I... I looked at the Amherst one and sort of modeled somewhat from that. Um, I thought that what we want to know is... Um, the main point person, their contact information, and then on their on their website they ask for a on the form a list of the neighbors who um, are planning to help and their addresses. And I like the idea of putting specific names in there. I like it too. I also think neighbors who are already said I want a tree. Because I think that you know there could be one zealous person in the neighborhood who sound, who puts together a really app great application only to find that None of their neighbors. But that's part of it too. So there's just two parts. One is they ask who's willing to help, and the other is who wants to have a tree. Yes. Great. Right. Okay. So both those parts are on the Amherst form. Okay. Um, and so I was thinking of asking for the name, the names of the people, their address, and like um, children. If they're going to have children, like how many children are planning to help, and how many teenagers? Because teenagers can potentially be a few. Yeah. So it gives you more of an idea of, um, of people power. Okay. All right. Yeah. If you can translate this into an actual application form. I'm going to, but I wanted to get feedback on, like, on the what, content. What's actually included in it? Like, yeah. Um, what, I've got some of that. Um, All right. So it sounds like you too. Okay. And so from what I researched from the form. Okay. So I can go down the list if you're interested to talk about it now. Well, is we, it, let's is do it out of the meeting. Is it kosher to... Uh, like come up with a draft and then send it out and can we send edits back to you without res right without without responding to all that that's okay yeah um you mean that you mean like a google document whatever you, yeah, whatever way yeah. you, put you know that i'm just because of open meeting law or yeah put in the google document and then um uh allow us to uh, have um comment yeah and then we'll bring it all back to the next meeting. Okay. But we could send comments to. You can actually make comments right on the board. On the thing, yeah. Okay. All right, okay. are we talking about eventually this is just going to be a paper form or are you wanting something electronic? Electronic. So that, yeah. that might be limited a little bit by the. I, I'm not sure how to do an electronic form and what the limitations are of technically what you can, how you can do that. I, well, I know how so, to make uh, um, I know how to make Google Forms. So it's super easy. But um, Rich, you're whoever Karen or whoever. I'm sure can you read a form. Yeah, so we'll yeah. Uh, Hopefully, the yeah. form will go on the website of the city. Exactly. Well, I'll create it as a paper version first, and then we can adapt it to make it as well. Hi. Are you here for the next event? Oh, yes. Yeah, we're wrapping up. Okay, so because we really do need to get be out of here you know, hard and fast at 530, um, I'm going to keep us too. So it sounds like you two are going to coordinate. You're going to move this into um, what will look like an application. For me, it'll just be more easy to read um, than paragraph form. It's yeah. just how my brain thinks. I wasn't intending to talk about a look. I just yes. like to get feedback on the content. content. And For the record, I like the neighborhood event thing just to add some fun into it. Especially as a pilot, I feel like we want to make this like we want it to get good press and we want it to spread. Spread. So I I have no problem saying this is part of it. Do you agree that you're gonna you know organize a culminating celebration of some kind? Mm -hmm. Could be just lemonade and. Group? Yeah, beverages or whatever. Yeah, but it's not, I, it, potlucks are easy. You know, that's why people have them so much, is because they're easy and fun. All right. Tequila parties are easier, too. What are? Tequila parties. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Tree, tequila uh, do you have anything to report very quickly, Rob, on Tree Northampton? Uh, no. The people.
people in the village hill are working really hard and uh, uh jay and rich have been up there in Bob, uh, so there's been a, a very big blossoming this spring volunteer effort uh, and you know they've been definitely you know promoting that and hoping that that energy will just go right through the year large open invite any of them in to hear about it or can slap them on the back or yeah i mean I, they need us i mean they deserve to slap them on the back it's and amazing that project is amazing yeah it's a, it's a big big project it's amazing and those trees interestingly i mean rich and verify we're kind of all suffering in different ways and there's so many of them it's hard to get they're still amazing Like how, roughly how many trees did you have you treated there? Like either prune or up there? Yeah, just ballpark. I'm trying to get them up there. I gave them a list of all the trees up there, and I'm going to check it all off. But um, we probably pruned about 50 trees, maybe 60, and, and the same with volcano mulch. Wow, another 50 or 60. Yeah, wow. we have a long way to go. But but the, yeah. the thing is, we prune in volcano mulch. We dealt with some of the ones that are most in need. Um, there are some trees up there, the elm trees, they're in serious, Jay can speak to it, serious trouble in their form. I don't know whether, whether we can get to That's another conversation. Yeah. Yeah. But it's a big project, another big project that volunteers can't do. All right, uh, we got like three minutes before we got to get out of here. Um, let's quickly go around the room and um, say what our, our tasks are for um, for this week, for the, uh, the interval between now and the one we next week. I can start. Okay, go. Uh, Rich and I are going to meet this Friday, and we're going to take a look at the um, how many sites are in the cemetery off of uh, orchard. orchard. And we're going to uh, add three trees to the Ryan Road school list to look at which ones got re we need to replace and then we're going to visit Cooley again and Pond Street in front of the Gazette. Correct. Molly and I are working together on two things. Uh, the letter for Arbor Day to end state professionals and then the legal trip on the application. Great. I'm going to check into uh, the EAB talk and see who's available when we can pull that off before uh, Arbor Day. And uh, oh, add the tree sites to the spreadsheet. So I'm going to meet with Jen uh, Friday, regardless of what she just said. I'm going to try to meet with Rob on Monday to go over the list. Try to put an order together uh, for uh, three hours nursery or whoever we end up getting. We got to check on Jay's commission status and just being sworn in. Uh, I'm going to check with Lisa Dowling about uh, possibly being available at Forbes okay. uh, for next week uh, in case it's cold. Uh, Arbor Day preparations. I am going to forward all of you the list of clips that are available. Okay. You send me back your comments on what you'd like to see. Um, just sent you the information about the, the DCR fact sheet I sent it to you. Okay. Thanks. But we're going to talk about the flyers yep. and work on a cover letter. And I got to get back to uh, planning about the uh, uh, the uh, tree guide. And um, Cooley the Hospital, the planting thing. Yes, the planting thing. That's going to be kind yeah, of coincided with them to work with Jen on that and try okay. to get things on okay. okay, I'm going to work with Marilyn on the volcano mulch um, letter. And I'm going to check with her about the other form uh, formats and put this on um, Google Docs. Uh, following up with Chairman Nash to get a date and time to speak at the uh, parking transportation committee. And if you wouldn't mind, you have this idea about an info, what did you say? Graphic. Infographic. Maybe put some thoughts into that, what that looks like, and, and um, you can work something up. I am going to check with Rick Harper, confirm 3 o'clock on the 28th. 
Uh, I'm going to put a presentation to the council on the next agenda. I'm going to check in with Gwen Agna about Jackson Street. Uh, that looks like it. All right. Motion to adjourn this meeting? I have not done the Ash Street. Oh, I'm so sorry, Rob. I have not done a good job on the Ash Street. I'm having trouble doing it. Maybe I'll get back to it. I was supposed to identify Ash Street. Yes, yes. But I'm, I'm, not, I'm not finding this. Maybe. You're not finding it? I'm not finding it. As public chief. Yeah, I don't think they would have anything. I don't think there's a chance. No, there are a lot of I've seen some meadows, so it's just breaking my heart. Okay, wait, before we disperse, we haven't actually motioned to adjourn. And um, Rob didn't get a chance to talk about it. Speaking of meadows, there are some. But they're not published. Yeah, I mean, they're. Yeah. Okay, um, let's adjourn. Do, yes, we need to adjourn. We have. Do we have a motion? Yes. Jen. Oh, Jen. I move to adjourn. Okay, Todd seconded. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All right.